Thanks for logging on to WCBI.com. I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. What a nice Saturday we have enjoyed. The warm temperatures and most of the clear sky for us. As we continue through tonight, we still will have those sun clouds in the air, but things stay dry until late. So if you have any evening plans out there, you'll be fine through 11 p.m. or midnight or so. After that, then, you can see a few showers rolling in. And I think by the time we start our day on Sunday, we will see those showers continue across the area. Overnight lows, seeing those upper 50s and the low 60s on the board. Columbus, 58. Empora, 60. Louisville, 61. 56 in Oxford, Pontotoc 57. We'll be watching for these uh, clouds to increase in the overnight hours and perhaps a few showers after 6 a.m. in our area, if not just a little earlier. Once those a.m. showers and storms move through, then maybe we get a chance for some stronger afternoon storms on Sunday. And I think the best chance for that will be between 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. for those stronger storms in the afternoon, but overall still thinking some heavy rain with all of it. Here's our current threat. This is as of 4.30 on Sunday. Marginal risk exists for much of our area. This will be along and south of Interstate 22. So folks in Oxford, in Calhoun City, Grenada, Winona, Columbus, the uh, uh, Starkville, West Point, Houston, Pontotoc, down to the south, Macon, Louisville, Choctaw County, Kosciuszko, our friends in Philadelphia. We have a marginal risk for severe storms. And really, the threat is not overall that big. But we do think there could be one or two maybe spin-up tornadoes possible somewhere in that marginal risk area. And we may have to update that a little bit coming forward. Strong winds also possible with any gustier storm. Not really thinking there's be much hail, but the flooding threat is something we will have to watch as one to three inches of rain in spots area-wide is expected. Some areas could even push four or five inches if we can get those showers and storms to train over areas. Here's what our future cast is showing. Notice as we go to the overnight hours, there's showers and storms ahead of the line, uh, ahead of this cold front through the area, starting our Sunday off with some showery weather. This helps to complicate the situation as we approach into the afternoon hours in by 2 p.m., watching for some stronger storms along I-55. Those will push to the north and the east. Cannot rule out, again, a spin-up tornado, perhaps some gusty winds with that. And we're going to have to wait and see how those morning storms impact those as this line comes on through, but they will continue to push through by 8 p.m. And I think by the, the Sunday evening newscast at 10 p.m. We will be all finished with those stronger storms. Still have some showers, something that to deal with. We're dealing with this because of this cutoff low, as we call it, as this cutoff low sits over our area. It is not on our atmospheric highway, the jet stream, so it will stay and slowly drift over us as we go through the next couple of days. And that's going to give us the chance for showery weather after Sunday into Monday and on Tuesday, also keeping some clouds in place and some cooler weather on our seven-day forecast. It may be a while before we can get it out of here, getting a cold front maybe in on Thursday, helping to bring more showers in. But we're going to keep the chance for some showers in the board all the way through the seven-day forecast as temperatures stay just a little bit below normal.